Yeah, it will start in a second. Right, so it says recording, top left, obviously yeah. it's recording. Press well, I think you probably just a different we've handle. Got the, we've got the slightly different You've got the red handle. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to transport. And the lock, I've got... Um, the lock will fit that. Yeah, fit that. Yeah, it'll yeah. fit that, yeah. Mm -hmm. all, all that's changed is that. Right. Just that handle. Okay. That's the only thing that's changed. So obviously you're aware of, obviously it's going to be grease free and yeah, toggle yeah, and everything, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, obviously your handbrake, jockey wheel exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Breakaway cable. Electrics, obviously 13 pin. Yep. ATC, did you have that one? Yes, yeah, so you're happy about the lights indicating and whatever. Well, like that. Until you ever come up and green to the point, obviously. Yeah, oh, you've yeah. been quite lucky. You don't know what, <laughs> <laughs> what flashing red or red may be. No, apart, apart from not being without looking in the manual. No, but I'll, just, I'll just tell you that. And obviously, you can have green, a solid green light, that means it's done its full complete test. Right. It, it can be flashing green. If it's flashing green, it hasn't completed its test. But normally, from say driving from here to the gate, it will, it will go solid green and right. obviously completes yeah. its test. It goes through a solid red light, obviously means problem. Right. Awesome. Obviously, you may be able to uh, take the electrics out and put them back in, and it may reset. Obviously, if it doesn't, obviously, it's still, still a problem. Obviously, you get, need someone to uh, check it out for you. Yeah. Best thing to do, you may be able to tow it. So, obviously, put your handbrake down, see if it will move. If it moves, obviously, you can. So, you can move it. Obviously, the system won't be working, right. but you'll be able to still be able to move it. Yeah. If it's flashing red, again, problem, you may be. Maybe we have to reset it by taking the electric and putting them back in. Yeah. The, the uh, chances are that it may have applied the brakes because that's the, what the system does. Yes. Okay. So again, just check to see if it does move. Obviously, if it doesn't move, you're not going to be able to move it right, okay. unless someone comes out and, set, and uh, resets it for you. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Gas locker. Probably a little different really than the uh, last no, one. Just Onboard regulator. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you probably had the onboard regulator on the last one. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you, you know you, you can use propane or butane on that if you want yes, to. Yes, that's right. Just, we, we just use propane yeah, all the time. Yeah. yeah. If you use it all, all your round propane is better on the yeah. propane. Okay. Yes. Well, that was your boiler. Oh right. Okay. okay. On your last one, you probably had a covering you took off. Yes, we did. If you want to use on gas, for this yeah. one you don't need to. That's how it is. On this one, that is not the water in. That is actually a shower, external shower point. Right. In case obviously you see a little shower thing yes, there. Yes. Yes. So obviously if you've got dogs or ki dirty kids or dirty feet or whatever, right. if you want to, you want to <laughs> wash them, obviously you can do that from the outside. And there's a shower head thing inside there. I think, I think there is. We'll, ju we'll just check. There should be, yeah. I think, yeah, yeah. on this one. Yeah. Okay, this is your water in. Okay, so obviously this is your, you've got a pump here. Okay, that pump doesn't work or it doesn't run when you're using it normally. So if you're using the Acro mm -hmm. in this bottom connection, you see that there's no actual electro electro uh, electrodes electrodes even yeah there so what that that is actually not working when you're just using your ordinary water system as a roll yeah all it is is just a tube it's acting as a tube then and it's pulling it in from an indoor pump yeah indoor on the, pump. yeah on both pump yeah. yeah okay to get it in just slot it in pull it out you just pull back on the trigger and it allows it to come out okay you can see there on there it says direct to tap so that's what you're doing obviously you're putting your water into your water system yes this one is direct to tank Okay. okay, that's filling the onboard yeah. tank. Yeah, so that's the pump actually fills your onboard tank, so that's all the pump does. Right, okay. Okay, and that's obviously just for filling your tank. Uh -huh. That one is your, your normal operation from the acro. Yes, okay. Okay, we'll just plug that back in there. Okay. Obviously battery point, obviously battery box and obviously electric in. Also, your point there for your motor mover, yeah. so your key there, and also you've got an aerial point, external uh -huh. aerial point as well. Yeah, that's good. Okay? Yeah. It wasn't so much. Like, oh, no, we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have, because that should be a test of that bit there. Also, it's falling off. That's the problem with them, they're going to lose the roll back all over the place. Oh, so your motor mover, I think you had a power touch in the last one, didn't you? Yeah. This is just the updated version. Mm -hmm. That's right, yeah. Yeah. It's still a manual operation. Yes, yeah, it's a manual spanner. Yeah. Spanner yeah. all plays on. Yeah. yeah. Okay, which water out there? Right. Okay. So we'll a bit of seal to get someone to try and get them off after. Pipes to sell them. Yeah. Safe toilet cassette, yeah. So obviously you know it's got a hand on the wheels. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, obviously your flush tank. Right. Then on, on this is little plastic shelf. Is it the one empty point or they added the extra one on? No. The, no, it's just. Because there was a, there was a retrofit. Yeah, so I've seen some with the uh, two. Got, mine's got two on it. Yeah, this one's two, just... For draining down in the winter, just stop splitting yeah. or something. That's it, yeah. So obviously you drain the last bit out yeah. through there. Obviously drain, you can obviously flush the system into the mm -hmm. into your waste tank anyway, yeah. but... See, that uh, drains okay. your last bit out. Yeah. Obviously make sure you do that. 
Hey, just like special tap to go on there. Yeah, it should yeah. be in your packing. So right, like, okay. it's, it's just a, a little brass fitting point. Oh, it's not like the one on there, which was no. a bit. Yeah, you said a big hand. Twist. Yeah, that was the actual hand. This one, that turns it on and off there, look. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's just a, a little one that clicks into there. And it's a bit like compressed air fitting into where it's pushing that's the catch. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Straight slide away, I think. It's all similar. And this shows in. It would be that end, wouldn't it? So, if you get your, your wheel up wrench, wind down or cable, this also comes with a uh, waste tank as well. Right. Slightly, okay. slightly smaller than the Yeah, we've waste got a waste tank anyway, but we might end but, up using that instead. Yeah, it's slightly smaller, so. Yeah. That's any button down. Just yep. press. That's on. One, that's on. All oh, right. So, you just press it once. And again. The first time it may just take a while just to pick up on the right. uh, alarm box. Okay. Yeah. But it's one on, two off. Okay, also only light, you can switch it off or on via your fob. Yeah. Okay, if you switch it on manually, you can't switch it off using your fob. Right, okay. okay don't ask me why, but that's how they do it. Right, right. So if you, if you want to switch it on and off with your fob, don't switch it on manually. Okay. Okay, yes. Right. Okay, your radio. Obviously that's your volume button. It also mutes by pressing it. On off button is there. It's that little tiny one there. Right. Switch it left and right. Single play CD there, obviously your uh, eject button there. You yeah. can obviously eject it as well via the uh, eject the whole front off the radio. Oh, right, yeah. As well. yeah. Okay. That right, just switches it off or on. Okay. Right. We'll come back to the consumer unit in a minute. So just on the just above your head as you came through the door, is your control panel. Okay. Yeah. Control panel's asleep at the moment, obviously you can see different things are on all running. So I can press any button just to light everything up. So it shows you, tw that's your 12 volt master switch. Right. So that shows, obviously, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Phil just went right there. Water pump is on. 240 is connected, ledger battery is connected. If I press the view levels, it shows you what your battery's level is. So obviously 14 volt is actually going for a charge at the moment. And also what your fresh water tank is. So it's got an onboard tank as well. Yeah. That's showing you the level of that. Obviously it's empty at the moment. Yeah. Okay. That's your, your fill tank button, which I'll, I'll explain the water in a second. Okay, happy with that bit? Yes, I think so. Yeah, good. So it's not Clear too as mud. Not, eh? <laughs> <laughs> sure, it's not that bad. All right, so two yellow drain valves, similar to what you probably had previously. The one on the right is for your onboard tank. Right. Okay, so if you've got water in there, obviously, or you want to put water in, obviously it needs to be level. The same with the other one, which is your rescue water system and your hot water tank. Okay. Okay, yeah. so obviously, point it upwards, it drains it out onto the ground outside. So if you want more drain, obviously it needs to be in that position there. Okay, also, you've also got a white lever there. Yes. It's pointing toward, if you imagine it's pointing towards your sink or towards your taps. So that's when it's operating off your Acrol on the lower inlet on the outside. Uh -huh. If you want to operate your tank, fill your tank or operate off your tank, it needs to be pointing down. Okay, so to fill your tank, you need to put it into the upper inlet outside. Yeah. And then you press the fill tank button. And it, does it cut out automatically when it no. reaches? So you've got to, You've got to keep an eye on it, so if it is overflowing onto the ground there, outside... There is an overflow. Yeah, there is an overflow, yes. yeah. So you just keep an eye on the levels. Don't do what I do. Oh, I'll just do that and go pop off and do something else yeah. and forget about it. Because you'll end up with a, probably a pitch full of water over there. As long there as it's not a caravan full, we'll be fine. Uh, yes. No, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be outside, well, but there again, looking at the weather, you wouldn't be able to tell, probably. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So I'll put it back to the Acrol setting for now. You, I've got an info note here to tell you which way around they're supposed to be anyway. Yeah. For whichever position you want. Right. Okay. Okay, your lights across, or lights and buttons. Top one is not a button; it's just a light, which is a reverse polarity. Yes. So if you're going on continent, yeah. obviously that'll light up if you, it is reversed. Charger button, obviously 240 connected. It will then that switches on your charge your battery. Right. Heating the hot water, as it says. So that's your button to switch your heating the hot water on electric. Okay, that's just spare. Obviously not connected to anything. So that that is the one that we use for just for the switching. hot water and the heating. Yeah, the electrics. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, 240 trips. Right. Okay. 12 volt fuses. Yeah. System shutdown button. Okay, that will shut all the 12 volt systems out. Even switching off on the on your main control panel doesn't switch everything off. Right. There's always something running in the background. So while you, if you're at home or in storage, over a period of time, you can shut that down, and so obviously it doesn't drain your battery. There is an info note on the back here to tell you what is connected to uh, your trips and your fuses. Right. Okay. So where do, if you system shut down. Yeah. Does the solar panel still carry on trickling into your battery? I'm, I'm not too certain on that, to be quite honest. I would have thought it would do, yeah, because it, it's on a separate circuit, so yeah, it would do, yeah. Okay, oh, on-off on oh. button there. Oh, okay, you can see that. Yeah. On-off button there, you can yeah. see a little green light on, obviously says it's on. Right. 
I'll just see if I can get. Because we've been struggling the last few days to get any heating on because it's been that warm. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't allow any heating to come on. And it was 31 degrees in the van yet last week. Oh, nice. It was. Right, here we go. So last week I couldn't show that because it was too hot. So that, that is your circulation pump for your heating. Right. Okay, so when that's on, it's operating. That, sh that plug there shows obviously electrics connected. So if that was switched off on your cons consumer panel, that wouldn't be showing there, so you wouldn't be able to run on electric. Okay. And this one here is your, your room temperature. Okay, yeah. Okay. To change any setting, press your menu button. Right. The top one is your heating, or your heat even, it's for your room. Right. Okay, so if you don't want any heating to come on, all you do is just bring the temperature below the room temperature. Yeah. So obviously I've brought that below there, heating's yeah. off. Yes. Okay, so in the summer, you can't actually switch it, switch the heating off, all you do is just bring it down below the ambience, yeah. That's it. Water heating, okay, at the moment that's your, your normal setting for water on or water heating on. Yeah. You can switch it off. Right. So normal heating is half a triangle coloured in with a green light on your on your plus side of it. Right, okay. That's why it's half a triangle, but if you want to boost the water, you can press the plus button again and that colours in the whole of the triangle. And what that's doing is boosting the heat, the water heating. So it's concentrating all the heat on, on the hot water take, and switching off. If I just bring that one up again above what, what the room heat was, you'll see that... Yeah, nothing there. Yeah, so the heating's been shut off, okay? Right. Or your circulation pump's been shut off. It'll run for 30 minutes, and then it will shut itself down, and then allow the heating to come back on again. Right, okay. okay? unless obviously you do that and press yeah. it, and it okay. comes back on again. Yeah. yeah, Okay, I'll just bring the temperature back down again. I'll just show you it should be on, yeah. So I'll just bring it back down again, otherwise... Oh, yeah. <laughs> it'll be too warm again. It's not too right. bad, it's not too bad, darling. Right, next next line along is your energy, so right. electric or gas. Yeah. So press that one, that's electric off. Yes. So you've got the options of one, two or three. Right, two like, yeah, is. like we had a new other one, but it yeah. was switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. it, and then gas off, gas on. Right. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Yeah. In the winter, you may struggle on electric alone. You may want to run it on, on two energies. Right. Okay, because if you imagine it's trying to heat the whole room and the cold water at the same time. Yes. So it may struggle to do that on just electric alone. So if you had both energies running, what it'll do is it'll obviously use both of them to get it up to heat, up to temperature, then it'll shut the gas off. Okay. okay. And it'll continue to run on electric unless, obviously either someone like myself leaves the door wide open and a cold blast of air comes in, or the water temperature, so you've, you've been using a lot of hot water, obviously it's filled up with cold water, so yep. the temperature's dropped considerably. Okay. And then we'll let the gas fire up again, get up to temperature then, shut the gas off and continue running normally on electric. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, fine. So that, that's how to get your press and hold and that switch it on and off. Right. Ga it's running on gas at the moment. I want to run it on electric. Now run it on electric. Right. To fire the gas up, you just press it and it will automatically light. Okay. Right. Okay. If it fails, it will let you know. <coughs> just making sure it's fired up. What I'll show you is the uh, 12 volt system failure. Okay, so if that happens on the gas side, that means that gas has failed to light. Right. Okay, reasons are either you haven't switched your, switched your gas no. on, okay. or you haven't got any gas, or there may be air in the system. Most people tend to run it on electric anyway. Yeah, we yeah. normally do, unless it's yeah. really hot somewhere, in which case you put it onto gas. That's it, yeah. And obviously gas is more efficient mm. than, the, than the electric side of it. Yeah. So if it does fail on the gas, obviously check them things. Probably the best thing is to let your, your cook up just to make sure you've got gas running. And all you do is just press that hazard button there and it will re-attempt to light it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. If you haven't used it on gas for a while, it may take two or three attempts obviously right. to purge, purge the air out of the system to get the mm. gas to light. Okay, this one obviously 12 volt system is when it's connected to your car. When you you've got to make sure that's pressed or does it automatically select that? No, no, you have to press that. Right, if so you want, if you want that similar to, be... to what we had before. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've got to change it to the setting here. Yeah, that's it. It's showing failure at the moment, that's because it's not connected to the car and the in engine's not running. Mm -hmm. Okay. It will not cool your fridge down, it will just maintain the, the temperature. It's in the fridge. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So the fridge is going to be, you press this little button there, you obviously change it. Right. Taz got a uh, safety device on the lid also. It's a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Okay. And obviously, it has a safety you device on there. Yeah. So, obviously, if it's not lighting, it may be that you haven't pushed that all the way back. Yeah. If you see on the on your front top of your grill door there, look this obviously cover comes out to protect your controls when you've got your grill lit. Alright. So obviously make sure that pops out when you're doing that. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
if you've got your grill pan, obviously the handle's inside, yeah, yeah. so we don't lose it. And your oven.